So Eric comes from a wildlife orphanage in Selby and it's my job to get this bird back into the wild now. He would be going out now into the wild at this stage but because we've got really bad weather forecasts for this weekend he's going to have an extra weekend with us so I'm going to pop him out into an aviary. Just got another chicken from Rydell Rehabilitation and we're going to pop this one in with uh, Eric and we're going to call this one Ernie. So we're going to pop them in the aviary together for over the weekend and then we're going to put them down the valley here for our wild owls to take them on as surrogate chicks. So they're going to be in here during the day and if it gets too cold at night I'll take them back inside but this is their new home for the weekend and next week they're going to be released into the wild with our parent owls. So Eric and Ernie have been in here a week now and they've been eating on their own and their flight feathers are getting really well developed. So today we're going to release them. So now I've got to capture them and uh, put them in this bag and we're going to take them up the ladder into the nest box. And now I've got to take some serious protection because these adult owls are not frightened of me and get, uh, get my face covered. Uh, they can be quite dangerous. So this might look a little bit over the top, but these uh, adult tawny owls have no fear of me and can attack when these chicks start clacking the beak, which is an alarm call, which then can bring the parent birds in. So uh, yeah, it's a case of doing it quickly and safely now. So that's got the chick safely in the nest box now. So in the evening these uh, chicks will call out encouraging the wild owls to come in and feed them. So these owls are now virtually wild and we'll just go back up to base now and check on cameras and see what happens this evening. We've got Eric looking on the outside and uh, Ernie's still on the inside just bobbing his head around uh, exploring the new nest box. Eric and Ernie are both looking outside at the outside world and it's really exciting to see uh, they're probably going to fledge tonight and be out in the trees back out in the wild. So Eric's right on the edge of the nest box now and that's it, he's gone, he's fledged. So that's really good news. Uh, it's going to be really good weather tonight. Uh, so hopefully our wild tawny owls will hear him calling and go and feed him. It's just uh, Ernie to go now. And he's a little bit more cautious. He's the younger of the owls, so he's now watching Eric, seeing what's happening to him. There'll be a lot of other owls calling out there. It's just gone 20 past nine now, and uh, 
Ernie's actually landed back on top of the nest box and Eric's been watching, uh, watching him bouncing around in the trees. So it's going to be his turn next to Fledge and we're just sitting, watching, waiting. And here we go, he's stepping up to the nest edge. So this is potentially his moment to go. So they bob their heads around a lot and that's because their eyes are fixed, they're fixed forward. Uh, so their idea of bobbing the head around is just a weighing up the distances of the branches. Here we go, he's thinking of going. There. So that's really good. We've got both owls out. Ideally, I'd like to have seen them staying a bit longer and my parent owl could, to come and feed them. Uh, but I know they'll start calling for food and the uh, wild tawny owls will take them some food. So I'll have to go down and keep a really close eye on them now. So now Eric and Ernie have been accepted by the wild owls. Those wild owls are going to be looking after them for quite a while now. So it's going to be another month or six weeks that these tawny owl adults are going to take care of their own chicks and the surrogate chicks, Eric and Ernie. So the tawny owls have been released uh, just over a week now and it's really exciting to come down here each day and try and spot them. And last night was particularly special. Up here in this sycamore tree I had four chicks there and they were the natural chicks from their parents. And over in the elm tree was Eric and Ernie. So I got all six in one view. It was quite an incredible night. And just behind me over here was one of the adults, the male, keeping a close eye on me. So that was really special. Over a week, they've been released, all doing really well. Proves the parents are looking after them. Uh, so it was a really exciting night. So every day I come down here trying to spot these owlets. So I spend a lot of time just walking around, stepping from side to side, looking through the canopy to see if I can see the chicks. And I'm just looking for, not necessarily the owl, but a different patternation within the trees. And often they'll sit really tight to the trunks when it's really windy and trying to take shelter. So if the wind's pushing from this direction, if the owls are sensible, they'll actually be sat more on this side of the tree. So then I don't need to look at all of this side of the tree. I'm just looking up here, uh, but it's always a challenge to spot them. And because there's so many chicks here, I'm putting extra food out at home. So I'm supplement feeding the adults and then they're bringing the food down here. With the chicks being out for every week now, I'm really confident for their success and it's been a really great project. I can hear the chicks calling down in the trees down there. And uh, I've got the male tawny owl here. He's just up in the garden in the trees there. And what makes this really special is my relationship with these uh, adult owls. It makes this uh, project possible doing a surrogacy work. There he goes. He's just taking a meal down to the chicks. I can hear the chicks call in. There he comes. Boom. In and out as quick as a flash. <laughs> now that made me flinch. <laughs> Tawny owl flying straight at my face. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> now that's the way you do it. <laughs> Didn't even put the brakes on that time. Pretty magic really. These are all completely wild owls as well. 
So the owl chicks have had a few feeds now and uh, it's getting slightly quieter out there now. So uh, I think I'll leave them to it. I love coming down here every day and trying to spot Eric and Ernie and see what they're up to and the rest of the brood. But we've had some really wild days recently, really windy, really wet, and it's been really interesting to see how they cope. So even the male tawny owl gets soaking wet through. He's doing all the hunting for the chicks, so he's dropping down into the grass as well as being rained on. So he's getting absolutely soaked. But it's the chicks that get really wet. Their downy feathers absorb all the moisture as the rain drops on them and they look really comical with their really funky hairdos. But when they get to this stage, they're not in any real danger of getting wet and cold. You know, they're well on the way now. So the wet weather is the least of their worries. But their biggest challenge is yet to come. Their parents are currently pushing them out and I can't find them today. So we're in late summer, territorial battles are commencing and this is a really noisy place at night now.